morning. <laughs> we are coming to you on a new travel vlog. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? In case you've forgotten, I'm Luke. I'm Rich. <laughs> it's been a while. Hi. Um, we are heading off to the USA. And where are we going? We're going to Boston. Boston. Yeah. So yeah, one of our, our favorite cities. Um, nice and flat, lots of walking, um, shopping, eating. Yeah. Ease, ease our way back into uh, America and travel in general. Yeah, so we think um, we're going to vlog some of the trip. We're going to, um, we started last night at the Renaissance Heathrow. Had a really nice sleep, didn't we? Yeah, it's actually really comfortable. I can't remember falling asleep. <laughs> the room was so nice. We've got a runway view. Uh, we actually got this for £89 on hotels.com. Bargain. Um, it was non cancellable, but we were like, if we don't go, we'll just come and stay the night. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, yeah, great views of the runway. Um, we parked here last night and it's £15 for hotel guests overnight. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to drive to the Heathrow Valet now, which we've booked directly. So, follow along. It's not going to be the same format as before, but we're going to catch the camera's some coming. Trip. The camera's coming. <laughs> so you're at the Renaissance at Heathrow, and we can see the terminal over there. And we can see the Iberia plane taxiing. And we've also got a British Airways plane that's taxiing really fast. But the runway is directly in front. The car parking is right out there. So, really convenient for parking right in front. And it's just a really nice view to watch the planes. We invite you to make yourself comfortable and tune into our high life entertainment, which is now available to enjoy. Thank you all once again. Welcome on board British Airways. Gotta laugh or gotta live. Cause I'm so over the past. And I'm living it fast.
arrived at the Cheesecake Factory. We are so, so hungry. And I think we've already picked out what we're gonna eat. This just shows how extensive the menu is here. It is just insane. So, plenty to choose from. All the cheesecakes. And let's be honest, it's amazing. the Oreo one is definitely good. I'm looking for the red velvet. Red velvet. Here it is. It's so good. Caramelicious. Caramelicious. I think that's got Snickers in. And I'll be Reese's one. I was excited to get some food. Wait, it's so long ago. It's the biggest menu ever. There's so many nice things. And the portions are huge. And the most important one is the cheesecake. Oh yes. Which I can't find. <laughs> there it is. All those cheesecakes. Wow. The epic bread has arrived. <laughs> Rich, you know, you know. <laughs> Rich is in his element with got a strawberry lemonade and water. Yeah, this complimentary bread is so good. And um, yeah, we're gonna wait for our food. Survived. I went for the quesadilla, which is just you can have it without chicken. I've got no chicken in mine, just a cheese quesadilla, which my friend Nikki recommended. Rich has gone for his favourite meal. You've fried seen it shrimp before. platter. Yeah, the coleslaw is really creamy. What's it called again? Fried shrimp platter. Nice. Checked into our lovely room at the Lennox. Uh, we, this is our third day here. Yeah. Um, we booked a junior suite, which is just amazing. It's so big. I don't know if the size actually comes out, but it's so nice. You got a last-minute deal, didn't you? There was like an upgrade deal. Yeah, on Booking.com you can still upgrade, and it was a really good deal. Yeah. Um, so firstly, the Bath and Body Works boxes are there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back to those. Yeah. Um, but here we've got the bed. And what do we have on the bed? We have some lint chocolates. We've got six. Because there is a lint store directly under the hotel. And downstairs they're, they're doing, what was it, 100 for $30. Oh my god, we haven't been in there yet. No. <laughs> so this is the room. We're on the 11th floor. Top floor. Top floor. You can look across there. And that's the full yeah, room. The aircon is really good, which is nice. It's the first thing we know is. <laughs> Bathroom. Hairdryer on there. Nice bathroom. Yeah. And it's got the Beekman um, toiletries. And these actually have a, a stall downstairs, which is really nice. That's a nice touch. And yeah. they've got the um, dispensers up here, which is good for um, reducing plastic plastic usage. Yeah. And then there is a walk in wardrobe. You've got the phone by the toilet as well. Oh, signature <laughs> phone by the toilet. <laughs> um, <laughs> Wardrobe. Which we didn't even realise was here, and then the guy was like, who bought our bags up, was like, you have a big wardrobe in there. So, so yeah, we've got a little bit of a view out of here, that's the window. Yeah, we can see down onto, um, I can't remember the name of the street. You but can see the Apple store. <laughs> yeah, we can, and Starbucks. Um, and a nice big fridge. Yeah. Really nice. So the hotel popped two bottles of water in there for us when we arrived. Yeah. Safe. I've uh, got robes. Nice robes. Luggage. Umbrella, because it is pouring out there right now. <laughs> so yeah, really nice room. There's another window here with the same view. And we've got slippers as well. <gasps> slippers! And yeah, another view just down there, which is really just cool. Just been to the star market. Well, firstly, we've put our cheesecake. <laughs> Priorities. <laughs> we got it to go. Uh, we're sharing the ultimate red velvet. We're going to have that in a little bit, because we're still stuffed. And we made some first purchase, some water. Also, I found this smart water that's uh, strawberry and blackberry. So yeah, let's get they on a, a good deal. And first purchases. I sneaked these in. <laughs> Rich got a Snapple, Hawaiian barbecue sauce, sweet baby rays. They were on two for four dollars. Had to get them. Bargain. And we got some granola bars for breakfast. Good morning. Morning. So we went to bed about 9 p.m. Woke uh, up at about 4. Yeah. <laughs> and we've just been to get Dunkin'. Uh, we Which ordered right across the road. Yeah, literally across the road. We ordered on the app, um, so it was really quick. And you also get your DD perks, which are obviously points you can add up to win prizes um, or free drinks. Um, so we got a blueberry muffin. Rich, what did you go for? I went for an iced oat caramel latte. Yeah, and I've gone for a skinny iced latte. So um, we're going to enjoy these now, um, and then when it's a more reasonable time, we'll go out and uh, you'll see us on camera. Difference a day makes. Today's weather is absolutely gorgeous. Blue sky, and we've got this for like three days now. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Boston day one. This is probably going to be one vlog, so we're kind of Tuesday today. Had a really good travel day. Yeah, absolutely knackered. Went to bed at like nine, woke up at four. <laughs> the standard American jet lag. Uh, went and got Dunkin' this morning. We're not really, we didn't really vlog like normal this trip. We're going to do it more as one vlog. Um, yesterday, travel day was really good. Yeah, apart from the bags. <laughs> yeah, so check-in was great. Um, 
no queues checking in and Heathrow, no security issues. The flight was really good. The um, cabin crew were lovely. Really good, yeah, everything was going really smooth. <laughs> we arrived at Boston. Um, we used our global entry. So global entry is like a paid scheme you can pay for. We did it over five years ago. Uh, it was $100 plus around 42 pounds each. And you had to have an interview in Sanford Airport we went to in, in Florida. And then we'd renewed online and didn't have to interview. So we literally just went through yesterday, mm -hmm. 30 seconds. Yep. And then the bag situation. So it was nearly 90 minutes waiting for bags. The conveyor went, engineer had to come. There was bad weather as well. So yes. it was like a perfect storm, literally. <laughs> it was. Then we got a lift, used lift, and that was really good service. Um, it picks up from a central garage in the airport. Really easy, felt well signposted. So yeah, we had a quiet evening. Mm. Today we're heading off into Boston. Yep. We're gonna walk, lots of walking. Yep. So we'll check in with you guys in a minute. Right next to our hotel is the Boston Public Library. Yeah, which like Luke is desperate there. to go in there. <laughs> we're gonna head around to the older part of the front. Which is so one thing we quickly noticed when we first arrived is all around Boston, or in this area of Boston where we are, um, there's plenty of pride flags. And um, we're just gonna go around the corner here because there's even more. The shot that Luke wanted yesterday, but it was pouring down with rain. So you've got you've got clear blue sky. Yeah, looks good. Look at those flags. Beautiful in the sky. So just to give you some perspective, where we are, we are where um, Boylston Street meets Dartmouth Street. So all the names are like UK names. Like our, our ones on um, Exeter Street, our hotel, yeah. and Boylston Street like runs down. That's why we picked this hotel because you can so easily just walk everywhere. So we're going to head from here and walk down to Boston Common where we're going to pick up the Freedom Trail. So today is all about walking, getting those Fitbit steps in. Getting those in. steps in. <laughs> Let's go. Right behind where we just filmed, we are in Copley Square. Pigeons. <laughs> and pigeons. <laughs> you can't escape pigeons. I, mean, I think it might have been like our 2017 vlog. We yeah. Went to Boston and it was, there was an event here for New Year's and it was like minus 10. It yeah. Was, we actually vlogged it, so if you have watched that vlog, that was where that little show was there. Here we've got John Singleton Copley, so after Copley Square. Yeah. And over there are the hare and the tortoise, which we're going to go and yeah, see. If you remember, we were absolutely freezing cold in the vlog, uh, and there was like a, a performance going on here. Um, but thankfully, it's much warmer temperatures here today. Um, we've got the tortoise and the hare, and this beautiful fountain that we spotted yesterday when we came out for a walk in the evening. It's just, yeah, I mean, this city is just so stunning. So the new meets the old. This is the Trinity Church, and then next to it is the skyscraper, which is literally up, 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 <laughs> Keep up, 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 up. <laughs> The vlog's probably not going to do it justice, but yeah, the new meets the old. And the turrets on the hair. Tortoise on the hair. First thing I said to Luke yesterday was, I love being back in America because of the sidewalks. They're so wide. <laughs> They're so wide, I love it. So we have just arrived. Boston Common, about, Boston 10 minute, about 15 minute walk from our hotel. Yep. Last time we were here, it was ice over. Today it's warm, it's beautiful. And we've entered um, Boston Common from Arlington Street. Um, so if you're coming on the uh, subway, it's um, Arlington Station. Station. Uh, but yeah, last time we were here, this was all frozen over. This is so beautiful. So nice and warm already. It must be like, I think it's 75 already, which is lovely. So it's, there's a really, it's a really big um, park, Boston Common. And you can go through all the different bits. We're gonna head through. There's also a random Earl of Sandwich for any Earl of Sandwich fans. It's like a little Earl of Sandwich hut just in the middle of the park. So if you're feeling that sandwich in the park... Uh, and we've quickly realised that this is a very popular place to work out. So if you're coming here to work out, this is the place to be. But let's show you around. Say my name until the city burns And the stars fade away and your scars don't hurt Stay with me until the last man falls I don't need them anyway when I'm with you I have it all you slip away oh, oh, oh and you don't have to be afraid i will hold you till the sun comes crashing down i'm yours until the end of time on this lovely bridge looking out looks so nice kind of like Japanese garden vibes because it's got the the kind of monument over there and then it's got the Japanese style trees there and then over here we have got the flamingo swan. <laughs> a like swan. swan I'm calling them flamingos but they're swans they're like swan gondolas yeah they're like you can get quite a lot of people on there 
looks like this as well. the little swans that you used to, like swan pedlos, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I think that's what I was thinking of. All the babies, one of the best things about this time of year. Though they're really small ducks actually, aren't they? They're Luke's on duck watch today. <laughs> So we're just coming out of Boston Common and there is the Cheers Bar. We know a lot of people have recommended going to see. Um, we're hopefully going to have a drink. We're a bit early, it's not open yet, but it is over there. So we're going to have a There drink. it is, the Cheers Bar. Where everybody knows your name. <laughs> Which we have on every morning. <laughs> and they, uh, all the Boston Boston Fire Brigade are arriving. I hope there's not fire. Yeah, I think it's Everybody knows your name. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> So um, yeah, it, it is shot, we're way too early. Uh, but we probably would come out of nose anyway. Yeah, it might come back later in the week. It's up there, inspiration for the TV series. So we've got these um, cute duck statues here. Let's see what it says. This sculpture has been placed here as a tribute to Robert McCloskey. Oh, whose story make way for ducklings has made the Boston Public Garden familiar to children throughout the world. Oh, that's my favourite one in the middle. In the middle, that is a key up. one. Yeah. We're just coming into Boston Common now. We were actually in Boston Public Garden before. So we're going to correct a, ourselves. There is a small road in between. <laughs> On the map it looks like it's all one, but it's obviously disconnected. But this is officially Boston Common. Yeah, it is. And this is where we're heading to start our journey. We've got the bandstand just over there. More, We've got... Not more importantly, but... <laughs> more, yeah, Earl's Sandwich is there. We're checking out all the uh, landmarks today. <laughs> and we're going to the visitor centre which is where you start the free So dog. this is the aptly named the frog ponds. <laughs> and there are the frogs. So we saw last night on the news that this actually recently reopened so it does look very polished, very clean um, but yeah those are the two frogs there. It didn't look clean on the news last night but I think it's because it's the brown floor. So yeah. The water actually looks really clear. But how refreshing does that look? <laughs> it does. It's hot. So we've got the frogs here. Luke just felt the water temperature. He said it's very cool, but I still think it's really inviting. Uh, we've got a another frog here sitting there pondering by the looks of it, looking out. <laughs> I feel like this was the ice rink in winter. We were saying that, yeah. It's definitely here. And then there's like a little pay park there called the Cadpole Playground, aptly named. It's a great place for kids. Especially. So we're just heading down to the Boston Common Visitor Centre, which is kind of the starting point for the Freedom Trail. Now, officially from the website, it's a two and a half mile freedom trail. It connects 16 nationally significant historic sites. Um, we've done it before. Um, you can book a tour, like a talking tour, or you can just do it yourself and follow the floor, which we'll show you. So um, we're gonna go and find the starting point and uh, head off on there. We're bringing you all the facts today. Yeah. <laughs> this is officially the start of the freedom trail. Yeah, follow it from here. So we're outside the visitor centre right now. Yeah, open to 8.30 till 4.45 every day. So it literally starts here. Here we start, there is Duncan over there. We're going to try not to go off by all the distractions. <laughs> so many Let's temptations. Stick to the line. Stick to the line. Stick to the line. You'll have your cooler later. <laughs> Got to put the work in. <laughs> the time point is 8.30am, so we're just starting. So we're going to give you an indication of like, how long it takes. Um, but yeah, it's a lovely view. As we walk Let's turn the camera. We've just got the uh, the bells chiming at the moment. Here we Good go, timing. we've got a sharp left. And this, this line's going to take us right up to our first stop, which I can already see the gold. So we will reveal that in a moment. And that's how you know you're on track, the Freedom Trail. First, but I feel like there should have been one of these at the start. Yeah, but, <laughs> but um, it does start from the visitor centre. Let's go. Heading up the hill. So officially the first stop is Boston Common. Which we're already in. Yep. And then we're heading up to the Massachusetts State House, which is the gold, beautiful building. It is having renovation work right now. So we've got a bit of construction work, but it's still beautiful. But we'll insert a picture from our last trip when there was no construction work. <laughs> Ta-da! I thought we'd get a shot from below the steps because you can quite clearly see the gold at the top. Yeah, really good view from here. So this is the Massachusetts State House. It is. And you can also see these banners as well, which um, also tells you you're on the Freedom Trail and it tells you what you're here to see, which in this case is the Massachusetts State House. Um, yeah. So the third stop is the Park Street Church. We've actually crossed, so the Freedom Trail is over there, but we feel like we get a better view this side. We've deviated slightly. <laughs> <laughs> How good it looks. Oh. oh. <laughs> so our next stop is the Granary Burial Ground, with, um, which is the grounds where the victims of the Boston Massacre were buried. It's one of our favourite things is just coming out early. So I mean, it's 8.41 now, and it's just so nice and quiet. Love coming out early and seeing things. saying how it's really nice how the light just shines right through and hits in the middle. In the middle there. Really nice. Now 
Old City Hall. And you can see the Benjamin Franklin statue. Benjamin Franklin statue. It's just to say, we're not going to film every stop, so we did do a couple of stops before this, um, but we thought we'd just check out this one on camera. The Declaration of American Independence, 4th of July, 1776. And there he is. Stop. We're going to go in Walgreens to get a water. Not on the Freedom Trail, <laughs> but... Needs must. Right, it's a good one to stop at. Yeah, it's really big actually, isn't it? So this is the old state house, and we're just gonna, for a second, ignore <laughs> that truck yeah. and that one. I have to say though, new meets the old when you've got the uh, pride flags. Um, yeah. Oh, so nice. Sun just coming That's out. a better shot. Look at that. It's so high. Next up, Daniel Hall. Hall. Here we started here, Boston Common. We've gone all the way around there and we're just at Faneuil Hall now. So be on halfway and get right around to USS Constitution and see if we can make it all today. So a little map check. One thing we're realising quickly is there's a lot of history here for a city that's quite on the small side. Yeah, it's lovely. L lots to see. Here we have Faneuil Hall, which is uh, inside is a visitor centre and some retail shops. It's got like a market vibe, isn't it? Yeah, and then this is one we're waiting for. It opens at 10. Quincy there are, Market. There are some things in there open now, which we might just walk through. All the food. <laughs> lots Let's of head food. into Quincy Market. We're definitely doing well on the whole pride thing. Yeah, there's lots of pride flags around. I'm loving it. Literally, as soon as you come in, you've got food already. <laughs> you've got cookies, you've got donuts, you've got bagels. We're also going to find some great fish options in here as well. So we've got the cold water lobster. Um, we've got the poke bowls here as well, which is one of my absolute favourites. So if poke is your thing, it is here. An idea, so it goes all the way down. And as you can see, some of the stores are actually starting to open up now. Got the Boston and Maine Fish Company. You've got smoothies. Let's see what else have we got. We've got a Greek cuisine. Oh, and Luke spotted the Regina Pizzeria. Pizzeria? Pizzeria. Pizzeria. <laughs> Pizzeria. The Boston Chowder Soup and Great Stuff. So we've got the Maine Labs Lobster. Can't speak today, put my teeth in. Lobster mac and cheese. Cheesy lobster melt and all the really good fish options up there. And in the center of the marketplace, you've got a great seating area. It's um, really quiet at the moment, uh, but there's more seating up the top. And if you look up, it's how so pretty is nice. that? Love it. Just checking out some of the bakery items. We've got the cannolis there. We've got the carrot cake. And there's plenty of lobster places, um, lots of fish places. Um, but there's something for everyone, I feel. So a bit of a pit stop for us. We're going to check out Kane's Donuts, handcrafted donuts. And Luke's been on the uh, website and they do so many flavours. So for all the all the different flavours, we went for the strawberry frosted and sprinkle one. I'm not a huge donut fan, but you're a donut like. Oh uh, yeah, I love my donuts. Yeah. So this will be most for you. So we've got our water and a donut. I'm going to share this. Have a little snack. How do you rate the donut? I'd say it was a nine out of ten. It was very good. Very good. But a nice sit down, cool down. We're heading now to. We're going to go across the river to Fan Pier Park, which our friend Nikki recommended. Um, Travelling with Nikki, um, always got all the tips. Um, so we're gonna get a good shot from there. Yeah. And the donut was about three and a half dollars. Just heading over to Fan Pier Park. It's like a 10 minute, 10 to 12 minute walk from the donut place. Yep. So we're just heading across this bridge. We can see a, a really unusual milk bottle in the distance. We're gonna we're going check that over. out, what well, that's about. We've got some ships over here. Plenty to see. So we're just coming to the end of the bridge and we've noticed that this is one of the places we thought about coming, the Barking Crab. Um, they've got a few restrictions, but it's possibly on our list for food. Yeah, the smell of it is very nice. I don't eat crab, <laughs> um, but um, yeah, it might be an option. We've got our sunglasses on now. We left them in the bag. I don't know why. We're like, why are we squinting so much? Um, but yeah, we're going to head down now to the Fan Pier Park. And we'll have a look at Barking Crab, which is a restaurant right by the waterfront. This was on one of our potential eating places, the Barking Crab. This gets really good reviews. Right by the waterfront. Right by the waterfront. So we may be coming back here. 
this is why we came here. Look at that view. Yeah, we're going to head down to the family and park right at the end, but this is just the start of what we're looking forward to. We've just seen the whale watching boat going out. Um, I'd love, which is not great on boats, but I think they'd be alright. It's really smooth. Yeah, and they've got these nice seats here. That you can just sit here and just watch the world go by. It's beautiful. Watch out for the uh, cobbled street. Yeah, the cobbled streets. <laughs> Got a ship here. This is called the Roseway. How amazing does that look? I'd actually love to go out on that, even though I'm a bit like I get seasick. And there's a plane coming in the distance that just shows you how close the airport is to the city. It's not far at all. We've got a bit of um, historical information Boston then and now. 1900. It's a beautiful sea breeze. Yeah, it's, so the temperature is so nice down here. So lovely down here. Just look at that view. I'm doing my best not to fall in because I'm literally right yeah. on the edge. <laughs> Let's get some tour of the town. Let's push her in. No. <laughs> Home videos. Um, <laughs> Behind the scenes. <laughs> just seeing a little, this little tiny boat coming in, but it, it is beautiful. So well worth the walk down. We were just saying, I thought it'd be alright on one of those big boats. It's now coming up to 10 o'clock, so we've been walking for about two and a half hours. Uh, we kind of didn't keep track of the Freedom Trail as well as we'd like to, but we kind of did around an hour and 20. It doesn't feel that long though. No, we're we just stopping and taking everything in. We wanted to go to the USS Constitution, but I think we're going to do that another day uh, because it's a bit, it's like a 35 minute walk on from where we were. So we're going to just finish up around here today. Um, but the weather is beautiful. There. So good. So nice. We've come to these steps and we're figuring this is going to give us a really good view. So we're going to. Should we run it? Uh, <laughs> you, you and Steps. I, are not yeah, good. me and Steps are not good after my surgery. Yeah, those steps were worth it. <laughs> Look at that view. So I'm going to go all the way around just so you can get an idea of exactly what we can see. We've got the American flag up there. All at the top. And this harbour with these really impressive yachts and boats and these amazing apartments, the amazing views. We were just saying as we were making our way down, it'd be nice if they had like some seats up here because we feel like this is a bit of a hidden gem or maybe on the weekend it's, it's much busier, but um, this just gives amazing views and it wasn't that, it was like a 10 minute walk from uh, the bridge that we just crossed. So we're taking a nice walk from the Fan Pier Park over to the Boston Tea Party Ships and Museum. Which is just over there. Yeah, there's a big milk bottle we need to see first. <laughs> <laughs> We're obsessing over this milk bottle. But actually this is quite a nice way to come in towards it because if you're coming from the city, you're kind of not seeing it as nicely. This is a great view shot from here of the museum and the ship. We've got a little boat coming in here. Just opposite, we've got the Boston Children's Museum, which looks quite interactive based on the posters in the window. Discover, explore. So that is, uh, if, you, if you've come here and you've got kids, that might be somewhere um, educational but fun to go. And the milk bottle we've been talking about is Hood. I think Luke was just looking up exactly what is Hood. So from what we can gather, Hood sells milk, which is kind of like why they've got a milk bottle. <laughs> yeah. So it's just milk, that's what they sell. We'll see if they've got a menu. So it does look like they do other things. They've got hot dogs, um, super premium Italian ice. Okay, we think it's just ice cream. <laughs> when the website, when you link to the website, it says milk, but obviously it's not. It's a bit more than that. A bit more, it's, it's ice cream. It's getting a bit closer now to the Boston Tea Party Ships and Museum. A really great view. This is the bridge that we came across a little while ago. Something I absolutely love is yeah. the Ye Old ATM. Ye Old ATM. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got Abigail's Tea Room. Best view on Griffin's Wharf. So just having a look, a look in the gift shop. We're not going to go in the tea room, but we're going to have a look in the gift shop. Oh, the smell in here is amazing. We've got all the like crockery, the teapots, and we're British, so we love our tea. <laughs> We've got these really cute Boston Tea Party uh, mugs, they're like uh, cube shaped, and these bronzed mugs as well. And also, they've got all this really nice, probably very expensive, um, additional gifts as well. Peppermints. If you need your lobster peppermints, they are here as well. They've got you covered. <laughs> oh, you can't escape Disney. <laughs> Disney traditions. Oh, Minnie really cool. there. Is there Mickey? I didn't see Minnie. So we've just spotted this chocolate. So toffee pretzel, s'mores, sea salt, and oh, 
red velvet. Seeing as Ghirardelli is closed. Yeah, Ghirardelli is closed, it's sadly. Closed down. I think that's going to come home with us. <laughs> also, just looking up around, it's really good theming in here. It's got like the flags, got the paintings. It's lunchtime, so I've gone for Chipotle. I've got the sofritas bowl, which has got like uh, rice, sofritas, which is like a vegetarian style meat substitute, but like corn in the UK. Cheese, salsa, lettuce, black beans, with some salsa and some chips. I'm rich. Oh, so we went to Luke's Lobster. Which My lobster. Luke's Lobster, uh, which is just around the corner. And I went for a four ounce lobster roll. Look at this is oh. right next to our hotel. There's a few of them around the city. Yeah, so for the four ounce, it was $24. Um, so yeah, and you get some chips with it as well. So we're gonna enjoy these. Morning. Morning. Welcome to day two. We um, had a lovely afternoon yesterday, just chilling, went out, went down to Fenway. Um, as we said, we're doing a bit different this time and the camera's not coming all the time, but it was nice, wasn't it? It was nice. We went to Target as well. We went to Target. So today we are in a car. We rented a car. We got to Avis this morning, uh, 8 o'clock when it opened and, it, and there was no one there. So um, another family were there, really nice. Um, and eventually the guy turned up at 8.15, so we got in the car. We are doing the drive this morning to New Hampshire. We're going to the mall. We're going to Home Goods. A bit of shopping. Yeah, shopping, Walmart, maybe Target. Um, so we're going to head over to some shops now. It's about a 45 minute drive over there. Pretty easy. Rich did really well. He's concentrating now. We're on the, on the uh, first time driving in America in two and a half years. Yeah. But we got a nice car. It's uh, like a Honda HRV. We booked a really basic car. Um, we did a one day rental from Avis on Clarendon Street. Uh, we booked direct and um, yeah, it's just a really good location. It's like five minutes walk from our hotel. Yeah, really um, good. So really nice. So yeah, we're gonna head up there. It's 8.49, gonna do some shopping. And if you didn't know, what's good about New Hampshire? Tax free. Tax free, there's no sales tax. Um, so we can shop and have a little bit of discount. Uh, so yeah, and then the plan hopefully is to go to Salem. We're gonna have Salem as a separate vlog from the Boston vlogs. We're gonna do it as a standalone because it's like a little city break. We may tweak our days um, and consider getting the train over to Salem tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna see how today goes. Yeah, go with the flow. Yeah, um, it's nice weather. I'll just show you now. It is warm out. Yeah, so it's currently 76 degrees. It feels hotter. It feels hotter, it's lovely. Um, really beautiful day so we'll take you along and uh, when we get to Walmart in around 30 minutes we'll, we'll see how we get on. So there's like two Salem's today. <laughs> so yeah, we're just about to come off. Um, hopefully following the Walmart lorry as it goes. Right. And uh, yeah, very excited to get there. Such a nice area around here. Could definitely live here, couldn't we? Definitely, yeah. Um, yeah you've got Boston, just 45 minutes away. Just all these lovely trees and it's nice and warm. So yeah, this is our exit coming off. Just Salem of the trip. Not the haunted witch one where Hocus Pocus was filmed, but where Walmart is. <laughs> and the last time we rented a car here and drove up here, it was really snowy and cold. And now seeing all the trees like blooming, it's so nice, isn't it? It's nice to be here in two different, completely different seasons. Yeah, you've got the nice little red, red houses. It's just really lovely and lovely little quiet streets. Yeah, let's go by a house. street here. It's called Pleasant Street. We're just like two Pleasant Street. Two Pleasant Street. <laughs> Doesn't it just sound nice? <laughs> Wendy's and here's Walmart. Heading in. We made it. So yeah, I like this Walmart. We're gonna go park and see you in there. We only booked like a really basic car and we've got a decent one. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be smaller than this, but maybe we've got a little mini upgrade. It's Illinois. 
I don't know. I like to see it in the Attention, Walmart shoppers, we are here. <laughs> Walmart. Man. Here we go. Let's get some shopping on. Luke's on Walmart um, cart duty today. <laughs> here we go. Walmart are doing their own Bath and Body Works range. <laughs> it's very Bath and Body Works kind of vibes. One thing we do like to come and look at is all the minis because they do come in handy for like. These are really good for a plane. The um, disinfectant wipes. Disinfectant wipes, yeah. All the candles. There actually are some really good scents here in um, Walmart, so definitely if you're in Walmart, check out the candle aisle. They're Bath and Body Works smell candles for three wicks, and they're six dollars ninety seven. They actually smell good. Yeah. The Grand Canyon ones. It's a bit like Audi, isn't it? It's <laughs> their take on brand. Oh my god, these soap dispensers, ceramic soap dispenser. <laughs> Look at that. Watermelon, that is my kind of soap dispenser. Food section, the first thing Luke says is, where do we start? <laughs> yeah, if you know, you know. <laughs> we are obsessed with this scent. It's so good. I absolutely swear by these. So these are really handy to put um, when you're traveling, put in your case when you're traveling, to put any little mishaps that I genuinely have <laughs> sometimes. Uh, barbecue sauce incidents. Uh, but yeah, they're really good. They're just little sticks that you, um, also these are amazing and really small to bring back. So they're little sachets that go in your water. So I picked up some peach mango green tea and peach iced tea. Mickey Mouse goldfish. The goldfish is what Luke really loves. Um, I think he really loves the cheddar, and there was like a pizza flavour one. Have the, um, parmesan. Yeah. Oh wow. Goldfish limited edition Mandalorian. And the Mickey ones. <laughs> yeah, and the Mickey ones. I think I'll have to get the Mickey. Ones. Just seen these. These look really interesting. Taco Bell, cheddar crisps. Oh no, so they do a caramel macchiato one. They're so good. I'm always amazed at how mad they go on um, cereal. I mean, look at these bags. Oh, so big. Pop tarts. May have picked one up and you may see a gap where it may have been. <laughs> and they've got all the uh, chewy granola bars, which are our favourite. And the s'mores ones may be in the aisle time. We're hitting up the candy aisle. We've got these yesterday, the crunchy cookie ones. We haven't seen them before. No. We're trying to spot any new ones. Oh, Caramello. Oh, they look good. Just checking out the little box of candy now. These used to be a dollar, they're now up to 124, which is not too bad. Bunch of crunch. Bunch of crunch, goobers, Reese's Peas. We keep seeing these smart sweets, but we've heard stories and we'll say no more, but I don't think they'll be for us. I don't know how long it is. Four and a half kilos of sweet baby rays. Wow. Here we go. They have it, the Hawaiian sweet baby rays, which we've been in a few stores whilst we've been here, and this isn't in every store, um, like a supermarket store. So these seem to be few and far between. So when you see it, you gotta get it. <laughs> what is the situation? You leave me for two seconds. <laughs> I come back. Why yeah. I know a lot of people love the frosted sugar cookies, and because it's Fourth of July coming up, they've got all the. Um, Fourth of July style treats. Managed to find some of the EOS balls, their lip balms. Um, it's not going to focus, but um, there wasn't any down the actual aisle, but in the uh, checkouts, uh, there were some hidings. We managed Good to trip in Walmart. Uh, lots of nice things purchased. It was nice to get back in there, wasn't it, after so long? Yeah, some old favourites definitely on the shelves. It was nice to see. Yeah, we'll show you what we got when we get back to the hotel. And we're now heading to Marshalls and Home Goods because we like Ray Dunn products, which are quite hard to get in the UK. So we're going to go have a little browse. And then we're going to go to the mall at Rockingham, which is um, just kind of over the border uh, in New Hampshire and tax free. So it was nice having no sales tax just now. Yeah. So I know it's like six and a half to seven and a half, eight percent sometimes, but it's a big saving. So TJ Maxx, that's going to be our first stop. TJ, we're going to have a quick look in there. Okay, so we're heading into TJ Maxx, and there's also a Sports Direct over there. And I never knew they were over here. Okay, next stop is Home Goods and Marshalls. Luke is well on his way. Checking out the Ray Dunn mugs. They've got the UK mug. The UK one. It's got a big pen on the back. Oh, I love it. It's actually cool. One that Luke keeps seeing is the chips and dip. The yeah, avocado. Yeah, but it's not on clearance here. So um, we have a thing. We like our tea towels as well. We've got Happy Fourth, Hello Sunshine, Hello Summer. Really loving the clock. So we've got a couple up there. And these two here look really nice. I love this. I'm not sure if anyone can relate to this, but chaos coordinator. Interpret that how you will, but that made me laugh. 
This is really cute. It's not very dumb, but it's um, something that the words mean a lot to us. So it's you are my sunshine. Semi successful trip to Marshalls and Home Goods. We're now just arriving at the mall at Rockingham Parkway for some shopping. Here we go. Let's get some tax free shopping on. Here we are, the mall at Rockingham Park. Tax free shopping time. Let's do this. The American style mall food court. I'm not seeing any like major chains, so maybe this is like quite local. First stop, Hollister. Loving the sale sign. Pride. The mothership. <laughs> so good to be back in the Bath and Body Works store. Although I think we bought enough, but we're gonna have a little nose anyway. And Luke, as you can see, he's gone straight in. We also really like the bath soak. Um, this range is really, really good. It's good for relaxing. Strawberry pound cake. Oh yes, that looks so good. This one here, sugar snickerdoodle, is amazing. So if you see this, definitely pick it up. Honestly, it smells delicious. Plenty of pry things as well. So you've got the um, body lotions and the sprays. Currently waiting for Luke to come out to show off his receipt. There's been some purchases made today for sure. There he is. <laughs> oh. Normality has resumed. <laughs> Hello, so we're back in the car. We did some shopping. We did. <laughs> we have now got an iced Dunkin' as well. Um, definitely use the uh, DD Perks app, uh, Dunkin' app, because the queue was huge, but when you mobile order, it's so much quicker. They I'm prioritized. Getting, yeah. Got a bit of phone reflection on me here. Um, so heading back to Boston now, it's about what, 25 to 1. Uh, we're not going to do Salem today because we want to do Salem in the morning. So we're going to head... Oh look, there's the Welcome to Massachusetts sign. Oh, good timing. Yes, we've got some really good deals shopping. We'll show you when we get to the hotel. But Hollister was really cheap. Really cheap. You got like a t-shirt for $4 then we got 20% off of that. Um, I wasn't expecting to pick up any bargains really, but that, those Hollister t-shirts were a great deal. Some good prices. Um, yeah, really good. So we're heading back, we're going to have some lunch. I'm not sure where, um, we might mobile well order. We are finding on this trip that obviously there's clear staffing issues in hospitality, which everyone knows about, it's worldwide. So a lot of restaurants, they'll have loads of seats available, but they won't have any um, tables free and a long wait. So mobile ordering is really good um, for a lot of the time. And we found that, haven't we? Yeah, it's definitely worked in our favor. Yeah, so tomorrow we're gonna hit the Salem, we're going to do that as a separate vlog. We're going to head on the train, which will be cool to cover. Yeah, we've never done a train in the US. Yeah, but I think it'll be easier than driving. Yeah. So yeah like I say, we'll get there early. Really, really good, yeah. So we'll head back now and uh, see you guys in a bit. Okay, so we're going to take you through our purchases from Walmart. Yeah, much easier than uh, trying to do it in there. <laughs> yeah. um, so we got some Teddy Grounds, which is a, a favourite of Luke's. Yeah. Really nice sun cream. It goes in really nicely. Um, we've got a 30 and we've got a little bit of 70 because that's really good for like face and also your scar. Yep, on my knee. <clears throat> um, also talking of the knee, um, these are really good. Um, but you just basically pop them. You don't have to put them in a fridge or freezer. Um, and then it activates the coldness, and then you just put it on your knee, your back. Yeah, they were really um, cheap, weren't they? Like $3? Yeah. Uh, it's good if you're on holiday and you haven't got a freezer. Exactly. Um, I picked these up as well, which I've picked up a long time ago, and I missed them. So the li little sachets that go into water, uh, peach mango green tea and peach iced tea. Yeah, we've got some popcorn. These are called 100 calorie bags. They're really nice. Orville Red and Backer. Um, goldfish. Not just any goldfish. The Mickey Mouse one. The Mickey Mouse one. <laughs> uh, Fat-free ranch dressing, which is just their dressing is so good. So Luke goes for the uh, fat-free ranch and I go for the Hawaiian barbecue sauce sweet baby rays, of course. <laughs> and then we've got the Cheetos Puffs white cheddar. Yeah, they're really nice, those ones. They're just different to the normal Cheetos. And then we'll go up to, these look interesting, Oreo Cakesters. I've not had those before. These are more my choices, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, powdered donuts. Um, thought we'd bring some of those home. Yeah, got some um, fiber one bars. We get these in the UK now, but we don't. I haven't seen the cinnamon coffee cake flavor. 
and the chocolate chip cookie. They have chocolate chip, I think, but I haven't seen these ones, so they're really nice. Love these cereal bars for work days. Um, nice flavours as well. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go back up again. <laughs> one, uh, one thing I picked up, the mini Chips Ahoy. Really nice cookies. And Your I picked tarts. up <laughs> just one box of Pop-Tarts, uh, Frosted S'mores. Yeah, we've got a little pack of Milano's, which we mentioned. Um, EOS, the EOS lip balms. They had a mango dragon fruit one, and then just some strawberry ones. Limited range, but they had some at the um, till. And then someone picked up some Dunkin'. Yep, I'm just going to run the camera for Luke, run around. Caramel is one of Rich's favourite things, if you can't tell. <laughs> I do love caramel. Um, so yeah, we've got some Dunkin' Caramel Me Crazy, um, which sounds interesting. We've got some Ghirardelli Chocolate Caramel Squares. The new cookie, crunchy cookie M&Ms. Yep. The Bunch of Crunch. Um, and Mini Charleston Chews. Toffee Crunch Flavour Oreos. Never tried them before. Nope. Uh, Caramello miniatures, Caramello, um, some moon, moon pies. pies, which our friend um, got us into. Yep. Um, they are a bit like, we've seen them mentioned, they are a bit like Wagon Wheels. Wagon Wheels, so it's yeah. It's like a different taste. Um, I love these berries from Haribo and the strawberry Sour Patch Kids. This is really nice gum. Um, normally like the peppermint, I've got some because our friend Nikki got it for us recently, but really nice. And then Smoothie Skittles. Mm -hmm. Did we mention the potato chips? They're your potato chips. Yeah, the backyard barbecue potato chips. And that is our haul from America for two and a half years This away. is the little haul. We didn't get a lot. <laughs> we obviously did an online order, which we'll talk about um, later in the vlog before we go home. Um, so we did get a lot online, um, but there was a lot of stuff on offer. Um, this candle wasn't on offer. They started bringing out the seasonal autumn range. Pumpkin, pumpkin pecan waffles is amazing. But this lid is the reason we got the candle. Yeah, Luke was a little bit obsessed with the lid, but it is really nice actually. That was 24.50 for that candle. Um, these are great anti-packs. They're larger, really good for your desk at work. Moisturizing um, as well. They were $7.50. This was $4, which is bubble bath. Really nice. It was reduced from eighteen fifty to four dollars. Bargain. The shower gels were three dollars each. Honestly, these are so nice. Obviously, Christmas, but sugared Snickerdoodle <laughs> is so nice. I didn't want it to end last Christmas. It was so <laughs> nice. Um, these spray anti bags. We're actually starting to prefer these sprays versus these. We just find when you're out and about, it's less. It's just easier. They were, I think, one dollar something. One dollar forty-five. Um, the two hand creams for Rich. Yep, so I really love this hyaluronic acids one and the strawberry pound cake. And they were seven fifty each. And then they were doing five for eight dollars, which we picked up for family. Mm -hmm. And we also got emailed a coupon for ten dollars off forty dollar spend. So you can split your transaction. So if you've both got a coupon, do it in two baskets, and then you get two lots of ten dollars. So that will always help. But there we go.